So hello guys, in this video I will be showing you how to create a virtual card for your online payments. So after watching this video, you will know all the steps involved in creating a virtual card. So if this is your first time coming across my channel, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this channel I do create content on e-commerce, content creation and how to make money online. So if you like content like this, do make sure to subscribe to this channel, have this post notification bell turn on and do not forget to smash on that like button. And without wasting your time, let's get started. So before creating a virtual card, I will be sharing with you reasons why you do need a virtual card. So some of the reasons why you probably do need a virtual card for your online purchase include virtual cards are more secure than regular plastic card. Now this is because it lacks magnetic strips and visible card number that can be found on a physical card making it difficult for unauthorized person to infiltrate your account. Transactions with virtual card are not linked to your bank account which protects your personal identification. Cards are made available as soon as they are created meaning you do not have to wait very long for your card to be delivered to you with this card you also do have options to manage subscription because you can create as many cards you can also create a card for a particular subscription maybe just a free trial for a program another benefit to using this card it allows you to have more spending capacity in countries like Nigeria, where you do have a $100 transaction limit, you'll be able to spend above $100 after funding your virtual card. So with all this being said, let's get started creating our virtual card. To create your virtual card, there are several things you need to do. You need to download the application from your mobile store, could be the Google Play Store or your Apple Store. You want to search for BitSeeker and then once you have downloaded this software, you want to open it. Now, once the application is loaded, you're going to be using your Google account to sign up for a BitSeeker account. To do this, you want to click on Google account and then you want to select which of the accounts you want to use to create your BitSeeker account. Now, once you have done this, it's going to take you to a new page where you're going to fill information about your account. So in this section here, you want to specify the username you want to use for your BitSeeker account. You want to put in a referral code here. I'm going to leave my referral in the description. You can use my referral code in this section. And then you want to select a PIN. Now, once you're done filling this, you want to set up your PIN code. Click on set up PIN code and input the PIN code you want for your account. And every single time you log in, you, this is the PIN code you're going to be using to log in into your account. Once you have done that, you want to click complete setup. And with that, you have created your BitSeeker account. After creating your BitSeeker account, there are several things you need to do before you can start creating your virtual card which is you need to set up your identification. You want to come to account section here and then you want to provide a number. In the number section here, you want to fill in your number and then you want to select your country code. Once you're done, you want to click continue and this is going to verify your mobile number. You're going to receive a text message and you're going to have to input the text message in that section. The next thing is to verify your identification. There are several ways in which you can verify your identity. You'll be requested to provide any government issued ID card an international passport a driver's license the method might be different for every country so depending on your country you might be requested for different documents so once you have done this you'll be able to use all features within the Tika platform and I'm going to log in into my account and then we'll continue this video from there so once signing into your account and your account has been verified, you have access to all of this function. You'll be able to top up your account, make payment, payout and buy airtime. You'll also be able to send money to friends. You see all the currencies that are available for you to use in this section here and you can see other functions here such as the card, the referral account and scan. Now one of the main reasons why I love Bitsika is that it allows you to send money to people in other countries. So if you do have people in other countries you can click send money and then you can click on the user if you do have their contact and send money directly to their account. So in order for you to create your virtual card you would want to top up your account. To top up your account the first thing you need to do is tap top up and then you see all the value 
available options for you to top up your account so depending on the currency or the country you're from it's going to be different from what you're seeing here if you'd like to top your account in your local currency all you just have to do is click on that and select this and input how much you'd like to top up your account and then once you're done you want to hit next this is going to take you to a payment page where you're going to see different ways in which you can fund this card so on this page you see information of how you can fund this card such as you can pay with your card you can pay with ussd pay with bank pay with bank transfer and so many other options for you you can select any of these and fund your account you can also deposit into your btc account with your usd dollars so what you want to do is the same thing and then hit on next so once you are done funding your account which brings us to the next step how do you create your virtual card to create your virtual card what you want to do is come to this section and tap card once you have tapped on card you'd want to come to this upper section here and tap create card you're going to be requested to deposit a minimum of five dollars into your account now creating the card is free but the minimum amount you will have to create your account to create a card is five dollars in this section here you can put in the company name or the name you want the card to be it could be your name or a company name you'd want to select a source of funding this card which if you had already deposited money you'd be able to select the method in which you like to deposit you can also select how much you'd like to deposit into your virtual card which will be debited from your bitseeker account so once you're done you're going to click on create card and that is how you can get your bitseeker card so thank you guys for watching i hope this video has been helpful if you do have any question or anything you don't understand please make sure to leave a comment in the comment section and do not forget to subscribe to this channel have a post notification bell turn on and do not forget to smash on that like button and i hope to see you in my next video